Hi there. How are you doing today? Praise the Lord. The Lord is good mm -hmm. all the time. Praise God. Today, by God's grace, and by the help of the Holy Spirit, amen. What we are going to be looking at is how to become a Berean believer. Praise the Lord. The Berean believers. So, God wants us to be like the people of Berean, like Berean Christians. Praise the Lord. And who are the Berean Christians, you might ask me? They are from the book of Acts, Acts of the Apostle, chapter 17. So we can read, um, let's read chapter 17, verses 10 through 11. What was the character or characteristics of the um, Berean believers? Praise the Lord. 10. Then the brethren immediately sent Paul and Silas away by night to Berea. When they arrived, they went into the synagogue of the Jews. These were more noble-minded than those in Thessalonica. In that, they received the word with all readiness. Amen and search the scriptures daily to find out whether these things were so. Amen. Amen. So Paul and Silas, they were preaching all over and um, they were being persecuted. So they left Thessalonica, they went to Berea. When they got to Berea, the Bible tells us that they were more noble-minded. Praise the Lord. They had good hearts. They love God and they want to like search the scripture. So they didn't only hear Paul and Silas. They went back, get their own Bible, stay in the presence of God and study themselves to find out whether those things were so. What are those things Paul and Silas that what they were teaching them, what they were preaching to them, whether they were so, praise the Lord. So they wanted to confirm the truth. They wanted to know, to be assured that this is the truth and not false. Praise the Lord. And this is what God is requiring from all Christians, all true believers. Praise the Lord. If we really love the Lord, we, just, we don't just listen to... Um, uh, teachings from our pastors, from our teachers, without verifying it, without confirming it, without doing our own personal study. Praise the Lord. And this is how we grow in our faith. We need to develop our own personal relationship with the Lord. And that can only happen when we diligently hear the word of God, listen to him, then go back and study it praise the lord personal study is very important of the word of god so that we will not be deceived and um, we will also be able to grow and also to teach others praise the lord it is very very important if you want to grow in our relationship with god if you want to go grow in um in righteousness in a relationship then we need to seek God personally. The Bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. So after we hear the word of God, let's go back and search. If you have any question, any doubt, any um, critical issue, go to the Lord and ask him questions. And uh, search the scripture for yourself. Praise the Lord. You remember the story of the... Um, sower and the yeah the sower one of the arts was good and noble the bible says they hear the word of god and they keep it they search so that they'll be able to grow and such uh people they were able to bear fruit hallelujah so if you want to bear fruit 
fruits of the Spirit, grow to maturity in uh, righteousness, in good works, in holiness, then we need to search the scripture daily. The Bible says, and search the scriptures daily to find out whether these things were so. Praise the Lord. John 8, 31 to 32, Jesus says, if you continue in my word, if you continue in my word, you shall be my disciples indeed, and you shall know the truth, and the truth will set you free. This is how we can be free. Indeed, this is how we can be a disciple of Christ indeed, when we daily study the scripture, daily carry our cross, uh, and follow Jesus in obedience, praise the Lord, in prayer, seeking God's face. Hallelujah. Don't just say, oh, my pastor has said everything. That's cool. Then you're good to go next Sunday or next um, Wednesday Bible study. That's when you will open your Bible. No, it shouldn't be Sunday, Sunday medicine. Oh, okay. Twice a month or twice a week. Let me just read my Bible. This is our spiritual food. Hallelujah. So if you want to grow healthy, if you want to grow strong, if you want to grow deeper in your love with Jesus Christ, full with joy, full with peace, righteousness of God, if you want to walk in righteousness of God, then we must be willing to learn from Jesus Christ himself as we search the scripture daily. Amen. I pray the Lord will give us a noble heart, a heart that is willing to learn from others, uh, believers, spiritually mature believers, and then go back and search the scriptures ourselves so that we might also grow in maturity and be able to teach others to praise the Lord. Jesus is the greatest teacher through the Holy Spirit. So Jesus told his disciples, go and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. So when these disciples, when they went out to teach people to preach the gospel, it is then expected of these disciples to go back to the scripture daily and search and study at the feet of Jesus to see whether these things were really true. Praise the Lord. I pray God will help us. We need to meditate, personal meditation, personal memorization, intentionally memorizing the word of God. It is very important in our relationship to grow in our faith, to strengthen our faith so that we'll be steadfast, we'll be grounded in the word of God. We'll not just be relying on, Oh, my pastor, oh, sister, this. Um, no, we're not just be relying on them. There are times your teachers, your pastors, your friends, they will not be there for you. You have to be able to stand on the word of God that you have searched, you have, that you have read, that you have meditated. That's what is going to be you and God alone. Amen. Through the help of the Holy Spirit. So we need to have a noble, a good heart to hear the word of God, to search it, and to keep it, to obey it. Praise the Lord. Daily, daily. Praise the Lord. Also, even if you are a new believer, a baby in Christ, you, you need to daily study the scripture. This is how you grow. There's no other way. When you hear teachings, when you hear preachings, great. But most importantly, go back for your own personal Search for your own personal study before the Lord. Let the Lord himself speak to you directly from his word by his spirit. Amen. And you obey it. This is how you walk in the spirit. When you obey the word of God, whatever he teaches you, whatever the Bible says, whatever the Lord puts in your heart, do it. Obey it. Praise the Lord. I pray the Lord we can us faithful in his... Um, as we follow him in our faith in the name of Jesus. If you have not given your life to Jesus Christ, this is the best time. Now is the time of your salvation. Amen. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. 
Confess him as your personal Lord and Savior. Ask him to forgive you of your sins. Amen. And you'll be forgiven through the blood of Jesus Christ. And then you become a child of God. You'll be born again. Amen. Do that now. And the gift of salvation, of eternal life, will be yours in Christ's name. Amen. God bless you.